Welcome back. Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Thank you for staying with us if you're just joining us. Well, you're on time for the first conversation of the day on career. And today we are talking about goal, set, goal setting and career alignment. And with us to help us with this discussion is PG Wesley, who's a youth mentor and life coach you can interact with us of course on our social media handles at y254 the hashtag is why in the morning you can send in your questions and of course we will sample them yes uh wesley welcome welcome to the show we're Asante. glad to have you Asante. okay you can introduce yourself just in case i missed something <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you so much mm -hmm. uh, uh for inviting me to this station mm -hmm. yeah my name is wesley g p Mm -hmm. or Paul Wesley. Uh, I'm a life coach and a youth mentor. So generally I deal with uh, dealing with young people, okay. especially those uh, between the ages of as early as 13 mm -hmm. uh, to around uh, 35 generally. Yeah. Okay, so yes. we have the youth falling in that category. Oh, wow. And the, yeah, you know, our audience, of course, uh, most of them are youths. And uh, we want to just have it clear, you know, mm. how to set the right goals and to align our career in the right direction. Mm. Mm. So how do we start? What's the foundation of it? What's the basis? Uh, first thing, uh, this, I think this is one of the best topics that uh, somebody has ever asked me in, in life generally. Uh -huh. And uh, I must say, first, I'm a, I'm a trained lawyer. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm a trained lawyer. And also, um, I'm also... Um, a criminologist mm -hmm. so uh, i think uh, that topic for me will be ideal especially b with what i'm doing currently because i'm not practicing what i exactly. i studied mm -hmm. uh, i ended up doing something different in life how so uh, because i realized that uh, you know you did well in your national exams mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there was no alternative and you decided let me do this career because everybody saying it's good but nobody was there to guide me mm -hmm. to tell me you know uh, do this this is how to choose career so i ended up doing something with it, which i thought was lighter for me but mm -hmm. at the end of the day mm -hmm. i came to realize that was not my thing it was not my passion so i, I was in a wrong place mm -hmm. so you can imagine uh, regrouping yourself and trying to find now the real meaning of life yeah after studying for that's about six years yes 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 uh-huh so yes. all that uh, wasted to some extent, but at least not you got really the knowledge. wasted. Uh, not really wasted, but uh, b but it was not my thing. It was not your thing. Yeah, because I can still use the knowledge. I can still practice if I want, but it's not, it was not my thing. Okay. Yeah, and it, I'm not comfortable there. Mm -hmm. Even if you put me there, I'll be like, I'm in a wrong place. So uh, taking you back, uh, if you were to go back, you would choose something different. Very different. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm I'm, a, I'm at a point of knowledge. Okay. And knowing what really I want, mm -hmm. and what. Uh, life has taught me out here. Okay, so yes. yeah, talk to that you know person who's at that point, at that stage, uh, just finished school, high mm -hmm. school, uh, wants to join college, and you know uh, probably passed the exams, and they're being told to go for the lawyer job, for the doctor, you know those uh, flashy ah, careers. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that is one of the things that uh, I think missed most of us. Uh, when we were in high school, mm -hmm. because uh, there were these people who were being brought uh, to talk to us, and you know, most of them were in this mm -hmm. lucrative kind of uh, okay. careers, mm -hmm. uh, like medicine engineers. So we used to admire them, but we didn't really, you know, we were at a point where we could not really interrogate much because we didn't know much. But so it was them to like tell us, you know, everything you are being told, mm -hmm. and uh, most people are in that category today especially young people. Somebody has finished school, uh, maybe they expected a certain grade, it didn't come through the way they wanted it, and now they're at that point where, what do I do now? I got a C, I expected a C plus, or even I got a C plus or a B plus, or an A, but uh, look, I, I, I was told medicine is good, but I don't, I don't feel like doing it's it. It's not my passion. It's not my passion. Some mm -hmm. of them are even taken to, uh, for medicine people are taken to the, uh, to, to the lab for the first time, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, then the first thing, the specimen is uh, the dead body. And they're like, no, 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 I can't stand this. <laughs> so they, they realize I'm in a wrong career. But it's already too late because the revision, they've already done the revision, whatever, but because of the influence out there. So fundamental, mm -hmm. when you want to go and uh, 
uh, decide what, what, career, you what career you want to do. Mm -hmm. The first thing I always tell people, mm -hmm. check yourself. What is this that when you do or when you think about, mm -hmm. you don't struggle with it. It's something that it's just, you love it. Comes natural. Natural. You don't struggle. You don't put a lot of effort into it. Mm -hmm. That is what you should go for it. Right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. for example, you, for example, maybe I want to be an engineer, mm -hmm. but I got a C plus. Of course, you're not qualified. Yeah. So in life, one thing somebody has to know, mm -hmm. you have to pick option one and two and three. In life, we just, you just don't decide I'm going to be this because that's yeah. what I wanted. And you have to also adjust. Have an open mind. Open mind. Exactly. Okay. So if I, I wanted to be an engineer, but I, I can't because of my grades. What alternative do I have? In other words, one, I can't go to university. Mm -hmm. So there are other alternatives. Basically, I not pursue degree, mm -hmm. but I can pursue diploma in a polytechnic, which is still okay in the same, in the same field. Mm -hmm. If maybe you still insist me, I wanted to be an engineer, and you, you didn't even qualify to do a diploma, you can still do a certificate in the same field mm -hmm. as long as that is scratch. your passion yes mm -hmm. yes it's okay to you know the results don't matter really much as your passion is what should be the driving force uh, your passion is the driving force mm -hmm. let it be the driving force okay yes and now for someone who's in the wrong career path is it okay for them to now go back and start again to where they want to actually pursue what they actually want to pursue Yes, uh, yes and no, because there are many fundamentals uh, that will uh, will make you to make that critical decision. Mm -hmm. And one of them, and uh, especially in today's world, mm -hmm. is uh, the pocket. The pocket, man. <laughs> I mean, you, you you can't you can't pursue any any mm -hmm. career without uh, footing some bills. All right. Yeah. Plus availability of also that the chance to go and pursue. There are many people who have many uh, other factors like age factor. They're like, man, I'm aging. I can't go back. Mm -hmm. Th that contributes. But for somebody who is passionate and realize I'm in a wrong career and has found the right career, mm -hmm. I always tell them it's worth sacrificing saying, you know what, I messed up here, but I'm ready to go back to school mm -hmm. as long as there is will and there is availability of finances to propel that program that mm -hmm. you want now to do. Okay, they yes. say where there's a will, there's a way. There is a way. Okay, yes. so now uh, let's talk about goal align, uh, goal setting and alignment, mm -hmm. yeah? So now you're in the right career, yes. uh, you're in school. Yes. So how do you uh, set the right goals? How do you plan your career? Um, now this is where um, uh, life, coach, life coach comes in mm -hmm. or a mentor comes in. Yeah. So for example, uh, I'll, uh, let me pick a career like uh, somebody who wants to do journalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you're doing and uh, this is, or rather they're already in that career or that field or they're studying already. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you set your goals? First, first thing first, interact with people who are already in that field and get to know, mm -hmm. you know, how is your field? What are the probabilities in area A, B, C, D? What are the probability of employment? Because everybody, at the end of the day, I want, after this course, I, I get employed. So let them get the skills or the, mm -hmm. you know, those two minor details, mm -hmm. which will help them now sure. to set the real goals. Like at the end of the day, after my two years or three years or four years in college, this is what I want to achieve, mm -hmm. you know? And this is the avenue I'll use. I'll start by getting uh, uh, through this uh, maybe channel, uh, program or rather maybe in a station mm -hmm. or you can even start a, your own blog or vlog. Yeah. You know? So at the end of the day, you need people who are already there. They'll help you to walk uh, or help you walk through this journey and help you to set the goals. So you make sure. So how someone might ask, you know, they're still in college. Yes. How do they get to these people that are already in the career? Maybe for someone in journalism, how do they get to someone maybe who is their role model to just guide them through, to, uh, to get them to be their mentor, to work with them through that, you know, that journey? Uh, now this is where I, I, I always say you need to be a go-getter in life. Mm -hmm. If I want something for your information, yeah. I will go and get it. For instance, one of the person who made me to kind of admire law was Professor Lumumba. Mm -hmm. So I, was, I, I, I did all I could 
to interact with him to make to make sure I, I found out where the, his office uh, office was and what have you. so I, I had to go and look for them so there is this person maybe in the media for a journalist or an engineer or some somebody in a different field you know a mm -hmm. nurse you can volunteer go to a hospital just people people human beings are approachable yeah excuse yourself have some courtesy talk to somebody like excuse me I'm so and so introduce yourself tell them what you do and what you want to know so people are people and people are good. Kenyans, we are open to help. Mm -hmm. So go and approach people. Be a go-getter. Get be, be a go-getter. Yeah. Because life is, I always tell people, life is a fight for territory. Mm -hmm. If you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. So if you want something, you go, you go to fight for it. You go to find it. Wow. If person A says no, look for person B. If person B says no, look for person C. At the end of the day, Three people cannot dis uh, disagree or w will not want to listen to you or want to work with you through that journey. Okay, yes. I love that. Yes. You, uh, you th you've said uh, if you don't go for what you want, what you don't want will get to you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and now, uh, now on still on goal setting. Yes. So now you have interacted with the people that you uh, you want to interact it and w interact with yes. now on goal setting do you set long term goals and short term goals and what's the importance of setting uh -huh. uh, you know setting a distinction between the two if you you know if you agree that's necessary uh, yes both apply mm -hmm. when when it comes to goal setting because at the end of the day even in let, let's take a, a, a normal project i want to simplify it for a youth who is a hustler out there, mm. uh, sorry to use that term, or a youth who is trying to make it out there, make, yeah, make it out there. M you you decide uh, I'll 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 pick a business like uh, because that can also be a career, mm -hmm. uh, a business like I'll be going to Gikomba, buy shoes, second-hand shoes, bring them to town and sell them. You see, you just don't sit down and make that decision. Mm -hmm. You go to set goals, short and long. Short in what perspective? Mm -hmm. How will I get the finances? That is a short term because it's a it's a, a need, a, a quick need. A quick one. A quick one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll 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 go get it from my mom, or maybe borrow. I'll ask my uncle, mm -hmm. or I'll go. Fanya kazi amkono kulimiamtu. Mm -hmm. get some money then get capital to do or I'll approach a, a financial institution or a circle if they can give you a loan mm -hmm. then or if Uliza, then you go and, 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 and take then long term at the end of the day what do you want to achieve after doing that business mm -hmm. do you want to save the money do you want to eat do you want to go live a, a, a happy life a good life mm -hmm. so even, even, even in careers it applies the same when you are setting goals you need to apply both sides, short term and long term. And long term. Uh -huh. And yeah. what's the difference between someone who has these goals and someone who's just there and just knows I want to study this and, you know, get a job? Uh, sorry, come up again? So what happens, you know, uh, in goal setting? Yes. Someone who has a short term goal and a long term goal and someone who's just there in school, who knows I'm finishing school and going to get to look for a job? Uh, it is like telling me, um, <laughs> I'll use an example. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody telling me, me, I just want to go out there, stand in the street. Any man who will call me for a lady, who will whisper hey, or call me, I'll go and settle down with them. I mean, everybody no. in life, you have to set goals. Mm. Even, you can't just say, I, 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 I'll study then I, after I finish school, I'll just go out there and get a career. How? It is next to impossible. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to have a plan. You, you, you go to have a plan, basically. You go to have a plan because at the end of the day, life is not a rehearsal. This is... The real, the real deal. <laughs> this is a real deal, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, still speaking on, on, on the same thing, mm -hmm. getting out and wanting to look for a job, there's something that uh, I'll, I'll quote you on, something that you posted. You said, uh, the richest man in China said, if you put bananas and money in front of the monkeys, they will choose bananas because they don't know that the, uh, the money can buy them a lot of bananas. And you continue to say, in fact, if you offer job and business to people, they will choose job because they don't uh, know that uh, a business can... Uh, 
make more money than a salary and you continue but now comment on that you know many people in their career they're looking for employment instead of looking to create the opportunities themselves now that is where th that is what creates a difference between mm -hmm. a go-getter and somebody who is okay with life mm -hmm. What propel people? Why I I I, I used that uh, story mm -hmm. uh, in my post, or rather in my Facebook post. Mm -hmm. I wanted to challenge people out there. Yeah. Based on uh, actually that was Ali, uh, that was uh, Alibaba who who gave that story. Mm, okay. So the truth is, mm -hmm. people out there they don't want to take risk in life. They are okay, you know. Me as long as I'm employed, I, and I, I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Not everybody was born with that passion to be a go-getter or being a risk taker. Mm -hmm. But the strongest person or somebody who can go far in life is somebody who is a risk taker. Mm -hmm. We'll go and try many things. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. you'll get a spot, a soft spot. And that spot, so, uh, soft spot will create the job. Mm -hmm. um, I, I grew up seeing my mother being an employee of the government mm -hmm. and i never used to enjoy when she sometimes she could complain Sasa tunafanya kazi, wake up wakes up very early in the morning goes to work mm -hmm. uh, and I, I don't blame i still admire she's my number one fan mm -hmm. but her lifestyle made me to say you know what i'll not take that path i will go out there and create something mm -hmm. Even when I decided to be a life coach and a motivational speaker, it didn't just start. Mm -hmm. It had ups and downs, a lot of opposition. Okay. And speak of the challenges, you know, that people go through in, you know, uh, pursuing their career and breaking, you know, through the hurdles that are there. So what should one, you know, keep on, you know, what should one use to just motivate them to keep on? At the end of the day, I still insist. Mm -hmm. This is where a mentor and a life coach comes in. Uh -huh. Because there, there is that time in life you feel like, hey, I can't take it anymore. I'm done. It's too much. I, I quit, man. This is too much. This is where you need somebody who will propel you, who will tell you, hey, don't give up. Keep on. And sometimes you don't really need a life, life coach. Mm -hmm. It can be a book. It can be a program that will propel you. You just watch and you, you hear somebody's story and you're like, what? If that person made it, then I, I can also make. You can read somebody's uh, text and you see the struggles they went through. Mm -hmm. You know, At the end of the day, you're like, this guy persevered 26 years in Robin Island prison. <laughs> and I'm just six months down the line and I'm already giving up. So somebody's story can be a motivation point where you'll be like, you know what? I'll keep on keeping on when you fall down i always tell people always rise up and look up mm -hmm. because as long as you can look up you can stand up you can and you can walk and you can make some steps amazing yes yeah so just find a way to keep yourself motivated if find it's a way. mentor it's a book if it's not a book it's someone you can watch yes. and get inspiration yes. from yes all right speaking of books uh, and goal setting uh, james clear wrote uh, the, the author of atomic atomic habits yes he said that um he's not for goal setting he's more on the systems behind the vision or the goals mm -hmm. and what's your take on that um it depends on the school of thought you know life is based on schools of thoughts that mm -hmm. each is, is somebody decides to subscribe to mm -hmm. you know like him he decided to subscribe to that thought which to me i don't agree basically based on my experience since i started doing mentorship programs and uh, and motivational talk mm -hmm. uh I, I i i i find the opposite side of that or i i decided to subscribe to the opposite of that why because you see i'm a bit structured in a way mm -hmm. so i believe in a process of seeing doing mm -hmm. and learning seeing doing and, and learning. learning but and the, 
you know you've talked about having the goals the short term goals and everything mm. but he says that you can you know you can have a goal to uh, be number one maybe okay not really uh, to maybe if someone is pursuing a uh, journal bachelor in journalism mm -hmm. their goal is to get a first class degree uh, first class honors yeah mm -hmm. at the end of it but you can have that as a goal and do nothing about it so that was his argument you can just look at a goal but the systems that are behind the goal are what actually pro are, are what are actually important you working towards that putting systems in place that will actually propel you to get that that first class uh, degrees honors so, like, for example, let me ask you, mm -hmm. uh, let me throw the, the question back to you now. Mm, okay. Do, do you, do, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I know, I know the, 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 the interviewee now is... The interviewer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let us try. <laughs> yeah, now, now the question is, uh -huh. when, when you're going through the structure of school, mm -hmm. will you subscribe to that? Did you, ha did you follow that kind of uh, or philosophy? Mm. Did it work for you? Well, <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm not <laughs> sure how to answer it. <laughs> well, it's 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 a bit tough because to some extent I would I, I would agree with it, but I also agree that goal setting is actually very important. Having the goals, but actually both of them working together would work. Uh, I don't believe there is a middle ground. Mm -hmm. There's no middle ground to it. Uh, you, it's either cold or, or or hot. Okay. It, it can't be warm or lukewarm. Can't be warm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so <laughs> let us move on to the next one. <laughs> we might go there. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, people say uh, you are not your success or you, uh, or you are not your failure. Mm -hmm. What do you say to this? You are not? Your success mm -hmm. and you are not your failure. In terms of career, you know, people pursuing their career and then you fail at it. Or some, somewhere along the way you fail and then you feel like you want to blame yourself for it. Mm -hmm. So... People are saying that, uh, okay, there's actually another mentor that came to the show and said, you are not your failure. So if you failed, it's okay. That was a failure on, on its end, but you're still you. Wow. It can be looked in different perspective, mm -hmm. uh, depending on your approach of life. Because there are people who, mm -hmm. they start something and they believe that, you know, at the end of the day, this is what I want to achieve. Then they don't achieve it. So they end up blaming themselves. And they end up living that life of regretting. Could I have done something wrong? You know, living a life of the past. But there's another person mm. who will be like, it's okay. I failed today. Tomorrow I'll rise up. And I'll do it again. And I'll do it again. And again and again. And I believe in that uh, uh, school of thought. Mm -hmm. of, of that... Um, uh, that thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. You are not your success and you're not your, uh, your, fa your failure. Yes, I, I believe in it. All right. Mm -hmm. Something else that I want to put you on, you said uh, on your post, shake off the victim mentality and have a victim mentality. When you have a warrior mentality, an attitude of faith, knowing that uh, you've been equipped and empowered, then all the forces of darkness cannot stop you. Yes. Yeah, talk on that. Uh, basically, <laughs> mm -hmm. what is the victim mentality for someone who doesn't, you know, understand it? Uh, victim mentality is that mentality of uh, more of blaming yourself all the time mm -hmm. and uh, not believing that you have the capacity to do what it takes for you to do. Like, you cannot be a winner. Like, Akwetu, you know, like, mm -hmm. there are people who always believe in patterns in their family structure. My father never went to campus or never went to school. So, basically, there's no need for me to also study. My brother never made it. I'm, I'm the last born. Now, I also not make it. I always tell them, no, each one of us are individual best. Mm -hmm. And you have your own life to live. Mm -hmm. So, it is upon you to decide how to live your life and not look at others. So you need to have a warrior mentality. Like, I don't care what other people went through. Mimi, I'm different, mm -hmm. and I was born different, and I was born unique. And I have my own purpose, which is not their purpose. I have my strength, which is not their strength. Okay. Yes. Have a warrior mentality. Have a warrior mentality. You say, okay. Now back to career planning and, you know, goal setting. Mm -hmm. Is Should there be a difference or a distinction between someone in college, mm -hmm. uh, a first year student mm -hmm. and a graduating student in terms of their career plan? Uh, of course, of course. You see now, mm -hmm. uh, a first year student, gen generally in most of the careers and uh, different faculties, mm -hmm. they learn general 
things based on on, on that uh, specific career. But you see, a, a, a finalist or somebody who's about to finish, you know, they are a bit, they've narrowed down, or they're, 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 they've decided to take a path of, we call it specializing, mm -hmm. you know. All of you started well as a group, but towards the tail end, each person decided, found that, hey, me, I'm good in photography, another person, videography, you know, for mm -hmm. a journalist. Yeah. So, so is the medicine, or medicine field. All of them, they get into one class. Mm -hmm. But towards the tail end, you find somebody has gone uh, to pharmacy, another one, uh, general practitioning and what have you and what have you. And so is law. Every career has its own special. So they don't um, have the same uh, kind of... Uh, uh, it, it doesn't look the same. The outline is different. The outline is different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And now uh, you know, on the outline, how mm -hmm. should a career plan look like? Should it be uh, you know, f should should someone write it down? Mm -hmm. And uh, if so, what is the importance of writing it down other than just having it in your, you know, in your memory? You just know this is where I want to be and someone who has it written down and they can see it. Uh, that is the main reason. That question is the main reason why the educationists or people in the Ministry of Education reviewed uh, our education system. Mm -hmm. Because so. they, they, they realized, they realized that you know the, the eight four four system. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good in that field. But I think I've done a, a bit of research, and I wanted to know why did they decide to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I realized that you know we were just learning. You know we were just going through the school education, and people are being banged to do things that were not even making sense to at the end of the day in their lives. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was a waste. Of, a, of an individual. So, like, we, we, we have a lot of problems in Kenya today because of mm -hmm. a wasted, uh, sorry to say this, to the country, but we are, mo majority of the people, the mm -hmm. system that we had, I'm not against it. The people who brought it, I'm, I'm sure they did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. But a majority will agree with me. The 844 system was a typical failure to an entire generation. Okay. And that's why the CBC came. Because, you know, we were being banked to do everything, you know, it, everything. Ukifika Ukombele, you'll find your way and decide to know, you know, to, to do what you are good at. Mm -hmm. Imagine since childhood, somebody is just being forced to do something that yeah. they don't really... Yeah, they won't they, pursue. It they won't pursue sure. at the end of the day. Then when you're going to campuses, when you're told now, I think you can now decide what you want mm -hmm. to do. Are mm -hmm. we together? Uh, and that's why CBC came, mm -hmm. where a young person can be nurtured. The, the, the talent can be tapped at mm -hmm. a younger age. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, we are going to take a short break, and then we're, we're going to come back and wrap this conversation Thank up. You. All right. Yes. Tell us some few tips on how we can set the career plan, yes. how we can put it down, pro you. possibly on a vision board. So let's take the short break, and then we'll be right back. Stay with us. Kupata police shere kama sikiza tun kwenye simu yako bonyeza star 811 star 758 hash Raya kwa nini unapigia mtu wakati ya shere it's either two things iko emergency ama unamwitia shere usikuwa unasumbua raya mwingine wakati wa shere pana wacha watu wakule na wa drive safe pia mimi niguche kama ni shere niguche ah naguche eh wacha chukue simu pasi we nani wacha uchukue simu ya shere pana <laughs> Kupata police shere bonyeza star 811 star 758 hash star 811 star 758 hash Life can be handful with these ups and downs highs and lows I went to now for the dowry negotiation yes. the dad refused me to go to their oh. home 
We give a voice to teach. When somebody oh. says, I do, basically at this point mm -hmm. is when now the real you okay. begins to come out. Inspire. You know, like, oh. I had totally lost it. Mm. Stories that inspire you to greatness. And the voice of God spoke to me and I knew that that was the voice of God and God told me, I'm calling you to ministry. Right. I was like, what? Yes. It's all about achievement, picking yourself up and making a difference. Kabidi ni swame na nikaanza kuwa namba kuminatano, namba nane, namba tatu, na nikakuwa namba limoja na nikaenda University of Nairobi. It's a discussion you should never miss right here on The Next. Y254 Imagine Welcome back, welcome back. We are still on our first conversation on career. you setting uh, you know, the right career goals and uh, propelling your career in the right direction. And for that, we are joined by my guest here, uh, Mr. Wesley, Wesley P.G. Wesley, yes. yes. And uh, just before the break, we were talking about you know, putting it down and, you know, the difference between, you were talking about CBC and uh, 844. Yes. And now I want to t you to tell me about putting it down now, the vision board, mm -hmm. uh, the vision board aspect of it. Mm -hmm. How important is uh, having a bush vision board for someone who wants to, you know, follow their goals? You know, basically, uh, at the end of the day, the question, will, I'll, I'll beg to ask, what is vision? That is the first thing for anybody who wants to get into any career. What is my vision? Mm -hmm. So you have to define what a vision is. It's what you want to achieve at the end of the day, your long-term thing. Mm -hmm. So putting them down, it's important because it will help you. You know, it's like more of a, a, a work plan, a, a, a manual that will help you revise every time you're losing mm -hmm. focus or you are getting it wrong. Okay. So it, it will be something that will be going back to to do reference, you know, a reference point. So it is important to put it down because anytime it, it will give you an agenda to go towards a certain direction without allowing any distraction or external forces to try and come and manipulate the original vision that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So putting down, that is, where, uh, that is why it is important mm -hmm. because it helps you to go back and review and reflect. If you're losing it, you go back and check. And check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically that is what, uh, what uh, it helps. So do. would you say someone with a vision board has an added advantage a to someone who doesn't? Yes, a lot. Because you see, somebody who doesn't have is, uh, is easily manipulate, manipulatable. Mm. Any, any idea will come and try to win them over. You see, at the end of the day, they'll not achieve their original intent in life or what they had said that this is what we want to do. So putting it down will help you because if any external distraction will come, you will mm -hmm. not give it a lot of energy or focus, but you'll be like, wait, that one can wait. Let me finish this first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how should th that vision board look like, you know, in just visualizing it for someone who doesn't have an idea of, you know, a vision board, should it have pictures? How should it be just to mo keep you motivated? Uh, it, 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 you know, at the end of the day, uh, the good books say if you want to achieve something, put it down on a plan. So it, it can be in different forms. It can be in form of a writing. It can be form of pictorials. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be an advocate and I have my like, small house or my like, small bedroom or a bedroom. I will go and get pictures of different lawyers or people in that career mm -hmm. and just go and, you know, put like charts in a class or something where I can always look and like, wow, mm -hmm. I want to be a doctor. You, you, you can, every time you wake up and you see that picture and you're like, I have a reason to, to work hard sure. towards this uh, direction. Mm -hmm. 
it can be through writing in your personal uh, diary where you are like, in this year I would want to do this, or personal journal where you mm -hmm. remind yourself every now and then that uh, at the end of the day I'll want to be this and that and this. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, is, it can come in different forms. Right. It can be pictorials, it can be uh, even having a mentor who is already there and now they, you, you see their life and you try to emulate or okay. you try to ask them hard questions. Mm. How did you do this? Yeah, okay. so it, it is in many forms. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for, you know, for someone watching, <clears throat> they might feel like, you know, what we're talking about is only for the white collar jobs. Uh, but someone in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. someone who's a musician, someone who's an artist, mm -hmm. you know, how is it for them? Is it the same? Does it apply? It, it is the same. Mm -hmm. um, I once had... Uh, uh, this group of musicians, Saudi Soul, uh, they were being interviewed and uh, mm -hmm. they, they were asked, what has made you to be, this group, what has made you people to be intact for after many, many, many years? Then it was clear, to, it was clear. We knew what we wanted. We had a vision. We had a plan. And we knew by this, by a certain time in life, we mm -hmm. will be in this place. So even athletes, even whoever, Whoever is in a different, in, in, in any field, you need to have a plan. You need to have a plan. You need to have a plan. It doesn't matter it, what you want to pursue. Yes. A plan is, will guide you. Will guide it. you. Because even a musician, you, need, you see, you have to see the relevance. Mm -hmm. If I write this music, will it be relevant out there? Mm -hmm. Will it be making sense to this generation? So you need to even put it down. They just can't take the mic and start singing. Mm -hmm. They have to plan. They have to write it down. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. And for parents, you know, because uh, they're a big factor in the direction we choose in our careers. So what would you say to parents, you know, pressuring kids to go towards this career? Like uh, your case, for instance, you went into law, but this was not something you wanted to pursue. So what would you say to parents? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll also add teachers mm -hmm. because I've seen this in many schools where a teacher identifies a certain student because maybe she's a performer or she's a, a, a A student or a B plus student and they try to influence them. You, you can be good in this field. So the this, this student really doesn't want that field mm -hmm. and, and, and most parents are victims of this. Thank God my mother was not that type. My mother was do what you're comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but most parents out there I want you to be a doctor because maybe that parent wanted to be a doctor but never made it to be a doctor. So they want to push it to their children. Mm. So maybe that, 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 that daughter or that son of theirs doesn't have that, you know, that capability to be. to be what you're forcing them to be. So at the end of the day, the kids, they go to school, study medicine, but at the end of the day, they're in a wrong career. At this point, this is where I advise my young generation i tell them if they force you and you don't have a, any way out don't fight with them go study after you study finish school after graduation give them the certificate go back to school and do what you want to do <laughs> go back to school and do what you want to do go but at the end of it uh, you have lost a lot of time it, it is okay it is worth it you, you have gained you knowledge. say I, I wasted my four five years for them but i can start mine now it's never too late for anybody it's never too late. It's never too late. Okay, and what if, you know, how would you now advise parents to identify the strengths, you know, in their children, in their teenagers, you know, so that they advise them rightly in the right careers to pick? Because honestly, some, you know, when you finish high school, you don't, some people are not very, you know, clear with what they want to do. So they are open to anything that their parents uh, have for them. So how would you advise the, par the parents now to identify the strengths in these kids and then point them towards the right direction. Friendship, 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 friendship. Mm -hmm. It is important a parent to be a friend to their child, because you cannot just tell, uh, you cannot just guide a child who you, you you never you are never friends with. You know, at the end of the day, you don't know your child. Mm -hmm. Most parents are busy, you know, after their careers and chamas and what mm -hmm. have you. They never have time to interact with their children. So at the end of the day. They cannot be the best advisors to their children, mm -hmm. especially today's parents. I'm sorry to say this. At this point, if a parent you feel like you've never been there for your, for your, for your child, mm -hmm. it is important at this point. Yeah. You look for, there, there, there are many people who are, uh, who, are, who are in this field, you know, called a career mentorship program. You can approach them. 
-hmm. Take your child there, pay some fee so that they can walk uh, this mm -hmm. journey with your child. They can be able to see their yeah. potential, their strength, what they like. And at that, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. whatever the, 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 the child and the, and the counselor or the, the coach will, will, will come up with, as a parent, I'll, I'll say, don't push what you want, mm -hmm. but agree with what they've agreed with. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this is a different life and they have their own path. Okay. So parents should be free. Parents should be free with their children, with their, with their children. friends. We, uh, yeah, to make them their friends. Okay, yes. mm. so now uh, thank you very much for uh, this amazing conversation. Oh, I would want you to have your parting shot on this camera. Okay. As you also tell us your social media handles and where people can get you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, my parting shot is this. Life is a fight for territory. For mm -hmm. anybody who is in career. Mm -hmm. If you stop fighting for what you, wa what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. So, career is a choice. It is you to decide what you want to do at the end of the day. And uh, it's never too late for anybody. You might be at your age of 30 and maybe you wanted to do something uh, different and you feel like I'm in a wrong place. At the end of the day, it's never too late. You can always regroup yourself, pick up yourself and go back and do what you want to do in life. Uh, people can get me uh, through uh, Facebook. Uh, that is uh, Grace Wesley. Uh, that is my social, uh, that is my Facebook so, page. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think I'm mean when it comes to contacts. So allow me it's okay. not it's to give my contacts. <laughs> social handles are enough. Uh, yes. So mm. people can follow me through the Facebook. Uh -huh. um, uh, and I think that is enough for okay. now. Okay, thank you mm. very much Asante. once again for Asante. gracing the interview. Asante. This has been uh, Paul uh, uh, Grace, yes? Yes. Paul Grace Wesley, who's a youth mentor and life coach, talking to us about goal setting and dream alignment. You know, uh, if you have not gotten anything, uh, just remember this. If you don't go for what you want, what you don't want will automatically get to you. So be the go-getter. That has been it from Career Talk. But we'll be taking a short break. And then Ram Aguko will be coming up with Youth and Politics. Wow.